The rescue of several survivors from the rubble in Turkey lifted the spirits of weary search crews, four days after a major earthquake struck the country and neighboring Syria, killing more than 23,000 people. Russia launched a wave of attacks on Ukrainian infrastructure in the cities of Kharkiv and Zaporizhia. South African President Cyril Ramaphosa on Thursday declared a national state of disaster over his country's crippling power shortages. Residents in Australia's Norfolk Island and in New Zealand braced for heavy rain and gales from Cyclone Gabriel, with authorities also warning of hazardous surf conditions and strong winds along Australia's east coast. Britain's economy showed zero growth in the final three months of 2022, enough for it to avoid entering a recession for now, but faces tough prospects in 2023 as households continue to wrestle with double-digit inflation. Adidas shares slumped as much as 12% in the latest downgrade triggered by its split from Kanye West. Bill Gates believes ChatGPT, a chatbot that gives strikingly human-like responses to user queries, is as significant as the invention of the internet. Meta, on Thursday, restored Donald Trump's Facebook and Instagram accounts, allowing him to once again post on the social media platforms. John Travolta recreates his iconic Grease routine in a new Super Bowl ad. Alphabet lost $100 billion in market value after its new chatbot shared inaccurate information in a promotional video, feeding worries that the Google parent is losing ground to rival Microsoft. The internet blasts Leonardo DiCaprio for reportedly dating 19-year-old Eden Polani. Microblogging no more, Twitter expands its character limit to 4,000 characters.